it's really pulling it together. It's very cohesive. It's giving it that. Hey guys, today we've got the brand new Cali Ray Face and Cheek Palette. This is a clean palette and I'm super excited to dive right into this. You can use it wet and dry, so of course we're going to do half the face wet and half the face dry. I can't wait to get into this. If you guys have been an OG fan of the channel, you know how much I love this time of year because this is when the face palettes launch and I love me a good face palette. So this is the palette right here. I love this. This is beautiful. This feels like there's a good weight to it. It doesn't feel super light. I mean it is because it's bamboo, which is innovative. The bamboo packaging, I think it's beautiful. Like I would be excited to throw this in my purse and like whip it out at a moment's notice. Like this is pretty. I like this quite a bit. I like how they have it engraved right here. I love the colors. The colors are super cute. So you can scan this QR code right here and it'll give you more of a tutorial on how to use this. This palette is good for 30 months. So we have a highlighter. We have a brow bone highlighting inner corner shade right here. We've got a blush and shadow shade here. This one is like an all over shade and this one is an all over shade. So this is kind of like a bronzer brow product shade and then this one I would say is more of a contour shade so you've got some defining shades here for shadows it's a really good palette I'm going to show you guys what it looks like this is it so this is what I don't love about this palette is that this doesn't bend back any more than that super pet peeve when I'm holding a palette like this I want it to kind of bend more like that just kind of bugs me that it doesn't go all the way back so this is it these colors right here, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna swatch a couple of them for you guys. So I'm gonna swatch this beautiful highlighter. That's the matte shade. That's a matte shade. And this is this beautiful coral shimmer. So I've got the coral shimmer right here. It's nice and light, super pretty. That's that matte shade for blending. And that one is this one right here absolutely stunning gorgeous they are very buildable and you can wet them to make them pop just a little bit more so of course we're going to go in and do half the face with the dry side and i'm going to go in and do half my face with it wet so you guys can see the difference okay so one more thing that i don't super love about this palette is the size of the pans especially these two right here i really wish that they were at least this large because for a contour shade and a bronzer shade that is really hard to get a brush like this size into that you know color just i'm just saying you know if you're gonna do it do it right Ugh. i am gonna go in with a smaller brush today this one happens to be by p louise i'm gonna start by doing it dry on the side of my face that is very pigmented i'm just gonna knock some of that off now with a bronzer i would not ever recommend going in with a powder and then wetting it and blending it out like right there that's going to be a hot mess so i am going to do my full face with it dry for the bronzer i'll just do half my face right now so you guys can see how pigmented this is it's got a good blend. It's going on just a little bit patchy, but I can blend that out. I'm not worried about it. Picked up a little bit more product. I'm going to go in right here. This is very pigmented for a bronzer. And I super wish I had like a more, I, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I just need a bigger brush to blend this out after applying that to my face. That small brush is not doing it for me. We all have our favorite brushes, like don't get me wrong, but that tiny pan, this, this sucker is not gonna fit in there. It's just one of those things. All right, so I've got the bronzer on half my face. Loving the shade, I think that's really, really pretty. It's definitely pigmented. I would probably go in with a little bit more if I wanted to really darken up like right here on my decollete, do a little shoulder bronze, a little shimmer down the arm, that would be really cute. You know, really live it up for the patio season because spring is here. It's lit. It's on fire. So this is amazing. Loving that shade. So let's go in with the contour. All right. So this is the contour brush that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go into this one right here. 
We're just going to tap that off. And I'm going to add some of that contour right here. I feel like that's pretty. It's a little warm. I'm actually going to mix these two shades. Tap that off. And I'm just going to deepen that up just a little bit. Okay, that is definitely warm, for me anyway. So I'm just going to go in with my Artiste blending brush and just blend that. Give it a good little blend. Okay, not horrible. I actually don't mind it. It's super cute. A little bit on the warm side. I wish it was a little bit cooler or maybe they would have made like this palette and a more cool toned palette. That would have been great too. You know, ideas. I have so many great ideas. All right, so we're gonna go in with a Scott Barnes. This is a number 59. It's just a little angled brush for your brows. I'm gonna pick up this deeper shade right here. Again, powder. I'm just gonna tap that off. And I'm just going to go in. This is more of my problem brow because I had the microblading done, oh my gosh, like many, many years ago, like 2018, I think. And it's really faded in there. This one's not terrible but this one's really faded and have I gotten it touched up yet no <laughs> am I going to I don't think so I think I'm just gonna let it fade out but we'll see I'm just gonna go in holy smokes that's dark for me and draw on my brow which I don't ever show on camera I usually just do my brows off camera but today we're doing this face palette up right and I'm showing you guys everything I also have the, my favorite brow products that I super love, which is usually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil and the Merit Beauty. Let me know in the comments down below what favorite brow products you guys are using. I mean, I'll review all the latest products, obviously it's what I do, but I go back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills for my base brow product. It's iconic, it's amazing, and I love it. All right, it's a little on the warm side, but it's not horrible. I feel like I could go in a little bit more here on the inner corner, but I won't worry about it too, too much. All right, she's cute. I like her. You know, for a brow product, I think that's really, really great. And definitely you could go in with a very cohesive, monochromatic look, deepen up your eyeshadow, put a little bit right here to make your lip fuller. You know, do it all with that. So I think very, very useful for that purpose. All right, so I'm just picking up a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna pick up some of this middle shade right here. This is just a very pretty beige. I'm gonna tap some of that product off. I'm going to go in and just put this in my transition area to do this brow, under brow kind of transition. This is screaming summer already and we've barely started this look, right? Patio vibes all the way. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that same brush. We're gonna pick up some of this beautiful peachy shade right here. I'm just going to go all over my lid. Okay, I want that to be a little bit more pigmented, so I am gonna go in with my finger. I wish this was a darker peach. I mean, the pearl finish on here is stunning but I just want it to pick up just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Definitely, if you're gonna pick up that shade and place it on your lid, go in with your finger. You get the payoff. That is a stunning pearlized peach shade. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some of this right here, this deeper shade, and I'm just gonna tap that excess off. We're gonna go in and just Give this a little bit of a dramatic smoke right here. Just make it a cohesive look. Okay, I like that. It's really pulling it together. It's very cohesive. It's giving it that like this a lot. It's really got that monochromatic feel to it where it's really following everything through. I am going to take that same brush. I'm just going to tap a little bit 
right there just to make my lips look a little fuller when I apply my lips later on in the video. But this is cute so far. I'm feeling this vibe. Let's go in. I'm going to go in with my blush brush. This one happens to be by Scott Burns. This is a 64. I'm just going to pick up some of this blush. This is a good size blush brush for this pan. I'm not mad at that. Tap a little bit of that off. I'm going to go in and just apply some of this blush. Okay, she's pigmented. I like that. Holy smokes, that's really pretty. I'm just going to blend a little bit. I always like a really diffused blush look. But that is pigmented. I mean, I barely touched the pan. That's nice. That is really, really nice. Okay, that is the dry side. Let's go in and do the wet side. You can use any setting spray you want to wet your brush. MAC Fix Plus is an amazing one. I actually just ran out of it. So I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray by Hourglass. Love, love, love this one. I'm just going to shake this up. So I'm going in with the same brush I was using. I'm just going to spray that down to wet it a couple of times. Give it just a couple of sprays, tap that off. Now that I have a wet brush, I'm going to go in with this darker color right here. Pick up just a little bit of that. I feel like maybe I should dip it into the other color that now it might be too dark. But we're going to see. <laughs> I'm just going to start by drawing my brow line on the bottom. Okay, I actually don't mind that shade. I actually think I like this side better. Wow. All right. Impressed already. Like I mentioned previously, I am going to go in and just bronze my face with the powder. I'm not going to wet it just because I feel like taking a powder, wetting it for a bronzer just is a bad idea. So we're just going to just do it dry. So this time I'm actually going to pick up a little bit both of these shades because I'm curious about mixing them for a bronzer. And I'm just going to apply a bit of that there. And I'm going to take my bigger brush that I love for bronzing and blend that out. I feel like that went on super orange when you mix them. So let's see if this blends out okay. Oh yeah. There's definitely recovery. It's a very pigmented palette. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like it's, it's a stunning palette. For me, it's a bit warm for a bronzer. But if you have a bit of a tan and a warmer undertone, you're going to love it. For me, I run it just a little bit cooler because I'm very fair. So, I mean, I can get away with it for sure. I think I just prefer a more cooler bronzer. Like, it's, just, it's my vibe, right? We all have our vibes. The bronzer is on. It is looking super cute. I'm going to go in and blush the other side. I am going to go in with a dry brush. I, I feel like it's not necessary to go in with a wet brush to apply the blush in this palette so we're not gonna do it wet for that purpose but oh that is so damn cute love that we are gonna do it wet on the eye all right speaking of eyes I'm gonna go in this shade right here the one we started with again picking it up dry this is a matte shade don't need to wet that I love the formula on this. The colors are stunning. It blends out like a dream. It's kind of like a really great all around palette. All right, so we're getting to the good part. So we're going to wet my finger right here. I'm just going to dip into this, swirl my finger around to this beautiful shimmery peach shade. Now that I have some of that product, I'm going to place it on my lid. Holy smokes, there's definitely a difference. I'm going to go all the way into the inner corner and bring that all the way out. That is pretty. I want more. <laughs> We're going to spray again. I'm just going to apply a little bit more and then I'm going to blend that out. Okay. What a difference. That is night and day craziness. I'm going to go in with this brush right here and just blend that wet peach color. I'm blown away. That's sexy. That is really nice. I'm happy with that. All right, let's do it again. I'm going to wet my finger. 
I'm going to go into this beautiful highlight shade right here. All right, that is a good highlight. <laughs> that looks really pretty. I'm going to go into the inner corner. That's pretty. That is very, very pretty. I wanted more from that though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanted a bit more payoff when I wetted that highlight. I'm just gonna go in and blend on the inner corner there. I mean, it's nice. It's super nice. It's subtle. Sometimes you want a subtle highlight. Like, don't get me wrong. But I wanted more. I just, I wanted more from that. I'm gonna take what is left on my finger. I'm just gonna go under my brow bone right here just to give it a little bit of you know, a little zhuzh. <laughs> Just give it a little highlight. I like that a lot. Now I'm actually going to go into this beautiful blush shade right here. Swirl that around. This is just a Smith brush. Nice big fluffy one is our number on here. This is a 237 in case you guys are wondering. And I'm just going to add some of this pink to the outer edge here. Just to make this side nice and cohesive. And just, you know, switch up the looks a little bit. Give you guys a variety. That's sexy. I like that. I could really smoke that out and go all the way across to be like a completely different vibe from the other side. Right? For the finale, we're going to highlight the face with that beautiful highlighter shade. So I'm going to pick up this right here. This is my favorite highlighting brush. It happens to be from ColourPop. This is a F33, if you guys are wondering. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this highlight. So I'm going to go in dry and just see how this applies. That is giving me glisten. It's giving me golden goddess vibes. I like that. Now it is subtle, but it's there. It's really pretty. It's cute. It's sexy. It's giving me all that I need. I like it. Like for the whole palette as a cohesive look, it's all the highlight that I would want. I like that quite a bit. All right. Should I go in and do it wet on the other side and then blend it out? I feel like I should just for sake of the video. You know what? Let's do it. We're just going to do it. It's not a method I use very often. I will if I'm on set. If I'm doing like a photo shoot or something like that, but it's one of those things. So we're going to go in again, pick it up just a little bit on a damp finger. And I'm just going to go tap, 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 tap. It gives a totally different look. And I just keep blending that out. Now if you go in with something more intense... It's going to give you a more intense highlight, but this just gives you a different variety. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I almost like that method a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to pick up just a little bit more of that highlight, just a little bit. I'm going to do that exclamation point down the center of my nose, right there, and a little bit right here, Cupid's bow. And then I feel like I didn't add any here, so let's add some on this side right there just to finish off this look and of course to finish the look i would go in with mascara probably some more eyeliner and just live it up you know throw on a pair of little wispies and then i'm ready and just gloss it up for the evening night on the town the beach the office like this is a really cute palette things i don't like about it honestly i hate the fact that you cannot get this to go back anymore. I feel like it'll snap because it is bamboo if I tried, so we're not going to do that because I do like the palette. I think it's cute. I don't want to break it. This is a super great buy at $63 Canadian. You get your blush, you get your bronzer, you get your highlighter, you get your contour. You've got super cute eyeshadows there. It's really monochromatic. You get an amazing look. I love this. It, you're basically runway ready at this point. There's no scent to it. I think that's fabulous. Would I recommend it? Hands down. I think, yes. Run out and get it. It is the first face palette I have reviewed for the season. It's the first one that's launched. And I will be reviewing all of them. But this one, I, I like it. It's a little warm for me, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep using it. Like, I really do like this one. If you guys loved this video and this face palette, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. And if you haven't seen it but you love this blush, definitely check out my latest video, that Armani blush. Stunning. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Like, that is 
hands down one of the prettiest blushes I have tried lately. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, lip gloss. Bye.